everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rubble free in this video i'm going to explain you about graph pattern mining guys this go this is going to be a very short video uh, because i have tried to gather the information about this from many sources but still i could not gather much of the information so i'm going to make it very short and clear to you precise to you and if you get this question in the exam for 10 marks it's your <laughs> you know it's your responsibility to elaborate it and write okay i'll just give you the overview of the topic at least you'll understand something if not, instead of leaving it in the exam and coming you'll be able to write something if you watch this video okay so let us see what is graph pattern mining in the subject of data mining in this video got it first graph pattern mining is nothing but it has some set of tools and techniques which are used to mine frequent subgraphs or you can say set of tools techniques and also rules and so on which are used to mine the frequent subgraphs that is in the, normally uh, in patterns you, what you will be doing you will be mining the frequent patterns you will be mining the frequent subsequences you will be mining the frequent substructures you know how to do all that but how to mine frequent subgraphs that can be done by this frequent pattern mining okay and it is used to analyze the properties of real world graphs okay the sentence itself is clear and it is also used to analyze how structure of graph will affect the rules okay that is structure of the graph whether it is a closed graph or whether it is an open graph and even if it is a closed graph uh, how the vertices are connected and to one vertice how many edges we have connected and whether these edges are uh, the closing edges or opening edges so all based on all those factors how the rules are affected how the rules get changed based on all those factors that also will you can get to know by the help of this graph pattern mining okay and this um, graph pattern mining can be done in two ways or you can say we have two methods to do this a priori based approaches and pattern growth approaches that is based on a priori algorithm you have one and based on pattern growth that is we have frequent pattern growth algorithms right based on that you have one method okay so these two are the methods we have and what are the algorithms used are g span and closed graph so actually there are so many but uh, g span and closed graph are more frequently used one we can say so in um, this uh, g span the working of g span and closed graphs i'm not going to tell you in this video if possible i'll make a separate video for this so g span it is used for all types of graphs you can use this g span algorithm for all types of graphs whereas this closed graph algorithm can be used only for closed graphs as the name itself indicates closed graph it can be used only for closed subgraphs okay whereas you can use this g span algorithm for all types of graphs got it this is about the algorithms that you use in graph pattern mining next applications where do you use it you can use it in XML structures while you're defining the XML structures in XML also we will have different different hierarchies right uh, we will have the main root and then we will have the uh, sub elements we will have right I totally forgot about element uh, XML like we will have this elements right so inside um, div you will have again something so oh, those hierarchies can be exp expressed with the graph next in case of anomaly detection also you can use this in case of network analysis you, you can use this you know you know what is network analysis right uh, we did it in bwe adc we did network analysis and even in network security also we will be doing it of course and in control flow analysis that is how the flow is going from in case of conditional statements in case of conditional statements like if else statements how the control is going on how the flow is going on between the statements and even in the biological structures also like uh, for example we have in organic chemistry we will have different structures right suppose let us take CH3COOH this is acetic acid I guess yeah so acetic acid will have different exactly structures no, uh, C double bond O OH I guess yeah and okay why, why to present our chemistry skills here but you know it will be something like this okay so these structures also you can express it through this uh, graphs got it so this is the application of the graph pattern mining got it so i know you know this video may not be very effective for you but still as i said i tried my level best to make it clear and precise and short for you so let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic